Dodge down the pit lane, 45 miles per hour, and you can see right here a tire from Clint Boyer's car, car is out of the box. The crewman's trying to retrieve it, and Reed punts it out of the way first. Really nowhere else to go there. I mean, kind of an unavoidable contact situation for Reed Sorensen. Luckily, a tire didn't collect anybody else. No collateral damage, and no harm, no foul, no penalty on the 07 team because they did retrieve it before it got out into further uh, harm. Had to be a bit watching. scary, though, to be coming down the pit lane and have a hey, tire jump out in front of it. We're going coming. back to green here following the third right, yellow is. today. In Phil Horton taking a look at the pit stop here. He is the pit coach for the 41 target Dodge team making copious notes here. Go back to the shop and they'll analyze it and break it down. Just like these drivers want to shave a, a tenth of a Three second off the lap. So do these pit crews. That is the cheapest horsepower you can buy in racing is a fast pit stop. You see Jimmy Elledge there. He has been playing coach and philosopher and encourager we all day long to read sorts of been a lot of fun to listen to him because never one discouraging word has come out of uh, Jimmy Elledge's mouth or the spotter. Lauren Rainier, both of them. 14. Encouraging Reed and telling him to take his time. Be smooth. And so far it's worked right now in the 20th spot. Started 27, so Reed has Keep fought his the way. Bottom. 38 slow on the top. Keep the All right, another pick, another spot up the ladder here, up to 18. It's nice. Reed Sorensen, Randy Pemberton. Give Third us an update on what exactly went on down there a moment ago. Well, I'm with Phil Horton. He's the pit crew coach here for Ganassi, particularly the 41 team. And uh, one thing I'll tell you that uh, Reed came in and popped that tire off of the 07. What I want to ask Phil Horton here is, Phil, what do you tell your tire carriers so something like that don't doesn't happen to them, get their tire hit out of their hand by a car coming into the pits? Well, one of the things that... We always tell them and, and remind them throughout the race, when it's tight stalls like it is, they need to take a look up pit road before they even go out. They have to know where the car coming in front of them and behind them is going to pit and have a sense of awareness of what they have to do. What happened on that particular tire was the carrier didn't have time to come around and pick it up. And when the changer set it down, Reed was coming in. It was common. It was sort of a timing issue that couldn't be helped, and because of the small stalls, it was just one of those deals where it got hit. Thanks a lot. Good job. Okay. Great explanation of what happened there a moment ago. You got momentum on the 16 here. Greg Biffle in the 16 Americrest Ford Fusion. Reed Sorensen working the high side. If you get stuck out on the high side here.